lab helper here in the WOW Lab. <gasps> oh, and this is the one and only Sparky. Sparky's my super smart friend who always flashes in with great ideas and experiments that make us say WOW. Hello friends, welcome to my WOW Lab. I'm so glad you're here. I have some wonderful surprises planned for all of you today. Where did Sparky go? This happens all the time. Sparky's here one minute and then gone in a flash. Oh well, I could use some extra help in the lab today. Will all of you be my lab helpers? Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. Wonderific, wonderific. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh wait, there are so many fun things we do in our lab. Ooh, I wonder what wonderful experiment Sparky has for us today. When we need to get in touch with Sparky, we clap our hands to the beat of the name, just like this. Sparky! Let's try it now. Sparky! Hello, lab helpers. I have an experiment for you today that is full of wonder. But before you can get started, you have to know the two WOW Lab rules. Rule number one is to be kind. You can be kind by staying quiet when others are talking. If you can be kind, let me hear you say, shh, 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 shh. Lab helpers, rule number two is to be safe. Let me hear you say, be safe. Be, be safe. safe. That's it. You can be safe by staying in your spot and keeping your hands to yourself. Wow, I think you're ready to help Geo with the wonderful experiment I have set up for you. Take it away, Geo. You got it, Sparky. Oh, one last thing you need to do to be a lab helper like me is put on your safety glasses. Put yours on with me on the count of three. One, two, three. <gasps> wow, we kazowie! Lab helpers, look at all of these toys. This is gonna be fun for sure. Hmm, have you ever wondered how these blocks stick together? Mm -hmm. You too? Oh, good. <laughs> this calls for an experiment. First, let's look a little more closely at these blocks. 
Oh, interesting. Oh. These two blocks seem to snap together and hold tight. Wow. Even when I shake them, they don't come apart. Oh, that's it. It's magnetic. These are magnets inside the blocks and they help them stick together. Lab helpers, this wand is a magnet too. Let's see what happens if we stick some of the other toys to the magnet. Do you think this car will stick to the magnet? Hmm. Let's see, here we go. <laughs> Amazing, it worked. Let's try something else. Ooh, let's see if this animal will stick to the magnet too. Here we go. <gasps> Uh-oh. Lab helpers, this just won't stick to the magnet. Hmm, that's very strange. Let's take a closer look at these two toys. Do you see anything different between these two toys? <gasps> You're right! The one that did stick to the magnet is made of metal. This must mean that the metal is what sticks to the magnet. Okay, let's try one more experiment. Let's see if we can make these two magnets stick together. Do you think they will stick together? Okay, let's see. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> these two are not going together. Let's try again. <sighs> I wonder why this won't work. Of course, that's it. Magnets have two sides called poles. If you place two of the same poles together, they will not connect. <laughs> Instead, the poles will push away from each other. But if we try to connect the two different poles, whoa, they stick together just like that. <clears throat> wow, magnets are wonderific. That was so much fun. I say it's time to check back in with Sparky and see what other wonderful surprises are in store for us today. Remember, to check in with Sparky, we just clap and say, Sparky! Let's do it together, lab helpers. Sparky! Wow, that experiment was wonderful. The Wow Lab is always full of wonder and fun. Speaking of wonder, I have some friends who are wondering about something. Let's listen carefully and see if we can help. Hey, Sparky and Geo. My friend Molly's been wondering something. Can you help? Hi. Um, I was wondering, why did Jesus have to die? Have you ever wondered that too? Hmm, that's a great question. Actually, I have wondered that very same thing. Anytime I'm wondering about something and I don't know the answer, Sparky always takes me to the best book ever, the Bible! Lab helpers, let's get ready to hear a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click! click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop! Sparky, we're all set. Please show us a story in the Bible that can help us with this question. The Bible is the best book ever, full of wonder and truth. I have the perfect story from the Bible today. In the beginning of the Bible, we read how God created everything we see on Earth and the things we can't see out in space and heaven. But God didn't create it all by himself. His son, Jesus, was there with him. And God had a special plan for Jesus. God loved the world so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to earth to be born as a baby. Jesus had God's power, but he was also a person like you. But you know what? Jesus never ever did the wrong thing. He was perfect. While he lived on Earth, Jesus helped many sick people feel better. And he told everyone how much God loved them. 
When Jesus was older, he told his friends that he was going to have to die, but he wouldn't stay dead. And what Jesus said actually happened. Even though he never did anything wrong, Jesus died on the cross to take punishment for all of the wrong things we do. But three days later, he came back to life. Jesus died on the cross and came back to life to fix our friendship with God forever. Jesus is wonderful. And there's so much you can learn about him when you read the Bible. No wonder we call this the Wow Lab. Stories from the Bible always have me saying, wow, it all makes sense now. In our experiment today, we tried so hard, but we could not get the magnets to connect. That makes me think of how we couldn't be friends with God because of the wrong things that we were doing. And there was no way to fix it. But God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to help us. Jesus died on the cross and came back to life to fix our friendship with God. Wow! <laughs> Lab helpers, it is so much fun to ask questions and wonder about things because it helps us learn more about who Jesus is and how much God loves us. So I want you to wonder about Jesus every day. Let me hear you say this after me. I can wonder. I can wonder. About Jesus. About Jesus. When we think about how amazing God is and the amazing things he's done, it fills us with wonder. That reminds me of a verse in the Bible that Sparky tells me all the time. Sparky, will you share that special verse with our lab helpers? You got it, Geo. This verse comes from the second book of the Bible called Exodus. It says, your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Glory is a word we use to describe how amazing God is. You know, Gio and I have a song we like to sing about this verse. Lab helpers, stand up and sing it too. Mountains and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God. Oceans, mountains, and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great and I know, every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. so glad you came to be helpers in the WOW Lab today. We have had so much fun, but we're not finished yet. We have one more wonderful experiment to do. 
it's going to be colorific. Oh, it looks like Sparky wants us to mix some of these colors to make a new color. Hmm, but I wonder what color Sparky wants us to make. Lab helpers, what color do you think Sparky wants us to make? Purple. Oh, that's it. If we can answer two questions from today's lab time, we will get to mix two colors and make a brand new color. Question number one asks, who did God send to fix our friendship with him? The green liquid says, Sparky. The red liquid says, Geo. And the blue liquid says, Jesus. So, who did God send? Jesus. That's right. Jesus is God's very own son that he sent to fix our friendship with him. Wow, okay. Question number two says, after three days, what happened to Jesus? The blue beaker says, he took a nap. The green beaker says, he ran away. And the red beaker says, he came back to life. Which one tells us what happened to Jesus after three days? He came back to life. Wonderful! You got it! The Bible tells us that Jesus died on the cross, but he didn't stay dead. He came back to life, and Jesus is still alive. Lab helpers, I wonder what will happen if we mix this red liquid with the blue liquid. Do you think it will make it purple? You did a great job remembering what we learned today. And you helped make a super cool new color. Oh, hi Sparky. I think we need to share this with our friend who was wondering about God too. Hi Molly. Today, we discovered that Jesus died on the cross and came back to life to fix our friendship with God. Jesus did this because he loves us so much. Isn't that the most wonderful news? Wow, that's great news. I love having a friendship with God. I'm grateful Jesus died and came back. <laughs> that's amazing. And we wanted to tell you what we've learned today. Lab helpers, say this with me. I can wonder. I can, can wonder, wonder. About Jesus. About Jesus. That's it. As you head out of the lab today and back to your homes, you can be filled with wonder as you remember that God loved you so much that he sent Jesus to fix your friendship with him. I hope you have a wonder-filled day, and I can't wait to see you back in the lab next week. Bye. <laughs>